Hi, I'm Nelson. I work at one of our Apple retail stores, and over the next 15 minutes, I'll be taking you on a guided tour of the new iPhone 3GS. Let me show you. The first thing you'll notice is how quickly you can launch all your applications. Return to the home screen, and then launch another one. Or jump between apps using embedded links. With iPhone 3GS, web pages render faster too. Text and graphics pop into place as soon as they arrive over the air. And scrolling, zooming, and panning are snappier. Better performance and improved graphics also means a better gaming experience. Games play as great as they look on iPhone 3GS. Whether you're using CoverFlow to browse through your entire music collection, or using one of the many great apps from the App Store, whatever you're doing, your iPhone is more responsive than ever. Taking pictures with iPhone has always been easy, but now, with its high-quality 3-megapixel autofocus camera, iPhone 3GS can take pictures that are better than ever. I'm going to go outside and show you how it works. Tap camera to get started. The camera automatically focuses on the subject in the center of the display. Just tap here to take a picture. To focus on something that isn't in the center of the frame, just touch it. iPhone instantly shifts the focus to the new subject and adjusts the exposure and white balance to take the best picture. For close-up shots, iPhone will use its automatic macro feature to capture the finest details. This thumbnail shows me a preview of the last picture I took. From here, I can quickly delete, share, or assign it to one of my contacts. Or I can navigate to the camera roll and see all of the photos and videos I've taken recently. In addition to all of the great camera improvements, iPhone 3GS now shoots sharp, high-quality video with audio, and you can even edit your videos right on iPhone. Just switch to the video camera and you can shoot in either portrait or landscape. To start recording, just tap here. When you're done, tap again to stop the recording. The new video is saved in the camera roll, along with your other photos and videos. Now I'll show you how easy it is to edit and share a video. Tap to bring up the on-screen controls. From here, I can drag to select only the video that I want to keep. By holding my finger over a section, it expands for more precise editing. Tapping play previews my edit. And then tapping trim saves the changes. I can share the video with friends via email or MMS, or post it to MobileMe or YouTube right from here. Now with iPhone 3GS, you've got a great still camera and video camera with you all the time. So it's easier than ever to capture moments that happen in your life, enjoy them anytime, anywhere, and share them with others. Making a call on iPhone has always been as easy as tapping a name or number. And now, with voice control, it's even easier because you can dial by name or number with just the sound of your voice, without even looking at the screen. To bring up voice control, press and hold the home button, or press the center button on your earphones. After the tone, just speak a command. Call Lauren Becker. Calling Lauren Becker, mobile. Voice control can find anybody in my address book instantly and dial any of their numbers. I can also dial a phone number like this. Call 408 555 one two three four. Calling four zero eight five 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 one two three four. And voice control isn't just for making calls. I can control the built-in iPod the same way. Play songs by Kaiser Chiefs. Playing songs by Kaiser Chiefs. Play playlist favorites. Playing playlist favorites. I can tell iPhone to pause the music, play the next track, turn on shuffle, and I can even ask what's playing right now. What song is this? Now playing Troublemaker by Weezer.
If I like that song, I can tell iPhone to make a genius playlist based on it. Play more songs like this. Playing genius playlist based on Troublemaker by Weezer. Another great feature of iPhone 3GS is the built-in digital compass. Tapping here launches the beautiful new compass app. Just like a standard magnetic needle compass, it immediately tells me which way I'm heading and rotates as I change direction. I can switch between using true north and magnetic north here. The compass app also uses iPhone's built-in GPS to display the coordinates of my current location. The digital compass makes maps on iPhone better too because it can now orient any map to match the direction I'm facing. In Maps, tapping here once shows my current location. And tapping again rotates the map to the direction I'm heading. The width of this beam shows the accuracy of the compass, and with the map oriented the way I'm going, it's much easier to navigate along my route. iPhone's multi-touch technology makes it simple to cut, copy, and paste text and photos within apps or across multiple apps. Let me show you how this works in an email. Here's a message from my friend Emily with some fun ideas for our trip next spring. I'll copy the ideas I like from her original message and paste them into my reply. I simply select a word by double tapping and then drag to include other words. Then I'll tap copy. In my reply, I just tap the cursor to see the select, select all, and paste commands. Tap paste and the copy text appears instantly. It's just that easy. Cut, copy, and paste works between applications too. So I can copy some info from this website that'll help us plan our trip and then paste it into my email reply. I'll just tap and hold to make a selection and expand it to include this picture. Then tap copy. Now I can paste it into my email message with all its formatting intact. And if I make a mistake while doing this, no problem. I can just shake to undo. The Messages application on iPhone 3GS now supports MMS, so you can share pictures, videos, and more, the same familiar way you exchange text messages with friends and family. All of my text messages are right here in organized and easy to read, threaded conversations, so I can easily pick up a conversation where I left off. With MMS, my messages can include pictures, videos, contact info, voice memos, and map locations. To look at a picture or video that someone sent to me, I just tap on it to see it full screen. I can even save it to my photo library. Let's say I want to send a picture back to my friend Allison. I can take a new one or pick one that's already on my iPhone. I can also send a message along with it. I can also forward and delete text and MMS messages. Tap Edit, pick one or more messages, and then tap Delete or forward. iPhone 3GS now includes a new voice memos app that lets you record meetings, class lectures, notes to yourself or just about anything and then share your recordings via email, MMS or sync them back to your Mac or PC. Launch the new voice memos app and record a voice memo by tapping here. Don't forget to print out the movie tickets for tonight. Then tap here to stop recording. I can see my saved voice recordings by tapping here. Don't forget to print out the movie tickets for tonight. Here's a class lecture from the other day. You could tap to play it or tap here for more info. I can label it or give it a custom name, trim it, and even share it using email or MMS.